Hey guys, I'm Mercer here and welcome to Temple of the Jade Serpent on a Hunter and the first buck we're going to be looking at for the Hunter is Marksmanship. So let's just jump right into it and see what they get that's new, what they got rid of, you know, just basically look at the Hunter in whole. So first let's see their core abilities and when to use them. Serpent Sting is a dot, you're going to want to keep that applied to the target as much as possible, don't let that drop off. Aim shot you're going to use when ma when master marksman occurs or as an opener on the fight. I'll get into the, the rotation as soon as we go through this. Chimera shot, keep on cooldown. Arcane shot, use when nothing else is available. So, and that can proc, we'll get into that a little bit in a little bit. But um, use it when nothing else is available and then to generate your focus just use steady shot. And steady shot use when you're low focus. Kill shot use when your target is below 20% health. Okay, so let's basically go into what's changed. Many old talents have become specialization spells. Range, range weapons no longer have a minimum range. So if the target, like if my cat is a target, right now on live, if I turn to shoot it right here, I wouldn't be able to because there's a minimum range requirement for hunters and I believe it's five yards on live right now but that's changing if you know a warrior runs in at like 20 percent health and he thinks he's you know all that and you're like uh buddy guess what they changed it and you you know shoot him in the face he's gonna think twice and do that again so weapons you can now equip either a ranged weapon or a melee weapon as a hunter you usually want the ranged weapon I mean I don't if the warrior charges in you're holding a pole arm you might confuse him to the point where he forgets how to play his class, but uh, I'm not 100% sure that's how it'll go. So that's it right here. This is the bow. And offhand, offhand, it's there, but, you know, maybe if you want to, as an intro, you can have like two axes or something. Pets. Now this is very, very, very amazing. You can now choose a specialization of your pet. Ferocity, tenacity, or cunning. So let me go into that right now because that is just amazing and for people who don't like switching pets and they really like one pet or you know um, this is absolutely amazing so first I'll go into the talents I'm using I'm using post haste your disengage frees you from all movement pairing effects and increase your movement speed by 60% for 8 seconds I'm using Worven sting a stinging shot that puts the target to sleep for 30 seconds any damage will cancel the effect only one sting per hunter can be active on the target at a time I, you know, Silencing Shot is good, uh, great for PvP, but I really do like uh, Worven Sting just because the more CC the better for me. That's how I'm going to play my characters anyway. Like, all my pallies will have Repentance as an example. Alright, moving down, I'm using Spirit Bond. While your pet is active, you and your pet will regenerate 2% of your total health every 2 seconds. I am using Thrill of the Hunt. You have a 30% chance when you fire a range attack that costs Focus or Kill Command to reduce the focus cost of your next three Arcane Shots or Multi Shots by 20. So, this is very, very good because if, you know, I'm sure a lot of Hunters are watching this right now and a lot of AoE fights, they've been Focus Starved or, you know, you, just, you never have enough Focus. And this is really, really good, especially because if we go back into here, core abilities, especially going down an arcane shot, use when nothing else is available. So, especially if the focus cost is reduced by 20, that is amazing, especially because it's on your filler. So that's very, very good. I also use Blink Strike, which I actually don't have on my bar right now. Um, causes your pet to instantly teleport behind an enemy target up to 40 yards away from your pet and inflicts 600% normal weapon damage. Ow. So, uh, Beastmaster Hunters will probably look at getting this. I know I will. Uh, this is the one I'm picking. You could have Lynx Rush, though, or uh, Murder for Crows. We're not going to be looking at those because we're not using them right now. So, that's my spec. Let's go into my Glyphs. I have your Arcane Shot, Chimera Shot, Kill Command, and Explosive Shot. Automatically apply a Hunter's Mark. Very, very good. It's just one global you don't need to worry about. Pathfinding, increase the speed bonus of your aspect of the cheat aspect of the pack by 8 and increase your speed while mounted by 10. It's just a preference, really. There's a few other glyphs you can get if you wanted to, like you can get uh, Chimera Shot. In increase the healing you receive from Chimera Shot by an additional 2. I mean, again, specs are now being personalized, which I love, so I got that one. Increase the distance you travel when you disengage. I think this is very important, especially for PvP hunters. This is very, very good. Um... 
PVE, yeah, but I mean, not so not so much. PVP is where this will really come in handy, and I, I just decided to grab it because I, I you know, I, I really like. I still don't believe that there's any gonna there's any cookie cutter builds, so I really, I really like personalizing my tunes, and I I, I run with this anyway. They have aspect of the uh, sorry glyph of aspects. Each time you activate a new aspect, an animal companion resenting that aspect will follow you for 15 seconds. You can find the animal companions in my aesthetic glyph video, but I'll show it to you now. If I go to aspect of the fox, cute little fox, hawk, hawk, and cheetah. I don't know why a cat follows you, but uh, for some reason it does. And aspect of the pack, another cat. Alright, so that's about it. And my, my, my other two miners are slightly reduced to size of your pet, as you can see. It's just a little smaller than the usual. And this is an amazing one. This is absolutely amazing. Reduce the time required to complete Tame Beast by 4 seconds. If you're a Beastmaster Hunter and you're trying to tame Scar or Kyrix, you pop Hysteria with this glyph, it will be close to instant. It will be so fast, taming. So that is very, very, very good. So that's my uh, spec setup and my talents. So let's go into this. I think this is possibly the best change coming to Hunters. Like, as you can see, I have a uh, Pandaria Kitty. So that's that's it. And say, so I'm in Ferocity because I'm about to do a dungeon. But if I went to PvP, instead of saying, oh man, I gotta switch pets, I gotta dismiss, I gotta call them out, I gotta go to my stable, I really don't wanna have to do that. No problem. I am not near a stable master. And, uh, or say I get ganked, I'm like, oh yeah, well I need my PvP stuff, I need my pet to go to Cunning. I click on Cunning, I go down to Learn, no cost, I click Yes, automatically Cunning, it tells you what it learned, tells you what it unlearned, this is absolutely amazing. This is, I, like, I can't stop talking about it, I absolutely love this. You know, you're soloing, waiting for a queue, okay, I want my pet to tank. Alright, the dungeon proc, the battleground proc, go to Cunning or... Ferocity for battle for uh, dungeons rather it's amazing it's absolutely amazing so I'm very happy with this change so let's talk about some of the passives they will be getting we have bombardment your critical hits with multi shot cause your next multi shot to cost 20 less focus and cause 30 percent additional damage if you combine this with this so that is 30 sorry. 20 less focus, 20 less focus, that is 40% less focus on a, oh, would you look at that, a 40 focus cost multi-shot. That's awesome. Alright, and then I have careful aim, they changed this a little, uh, no, sorry, they didn't change this one. Increase the critical strike chance of your steady shot and aim shot by 75% on targets who are above 90% health. I'm, they may have dropped or raised the 75%, I'm not 100% sure. Custom Barrage, your successful Chimera shot and multi-shot attacks daze the target for 4 seconds. Very, very cool. Reduce the pushback stuff from damaging attacks while casting Steady or Cobra shot by 70. And Master Marksman, they changed this. You have a 50% chance when you, when, you, when you cast Steady Shot to gain the Master Marksman effect lasting 30 seconds. After reaching 3 stacks, your next aim shot, cast time, and focus cost are reduced by 100 for 10 seconds. This used to have 5 stacks, and not a 50% chance. So you are going to see a lot more procs from my from my aim shot, and uh, overall it's going to be awesome. Uh, and really a damage boost for um, for marksmanship hunters. Alright, let's look at Mastery Wild Quiver. Granting 26% 20, chance for your range attacks to also instantly fire an additional range shot that deals 80% weapon damage. Very, very cool. Your critical aim, steady, and chimera shots cause the target to bleed for 30% of the damage out over 8 seconds. If you have a pesky rogue or a feral druid using displacer beast and you crit and they displacer beast or they vanish, they will eventually come out. Post haste, your disengage frees you from all movement impairing effects. That's just one of my talents. Rapid re rapid recuperation, you gain 12 focus every 3 seconds while under the effects of rapid fire. When you steady shot twice in a row, your range attack speed will be increased by 15% and your steady shot will generate 3 additional focus. The additional focus is very, very good. And also, True Shadow Aura grants 10% increased melee and range attack power to all party and raid members within 100 yards. 
and I'm pretty sure I covered everything. So we are going to be looking at the Marksman, Ship Hunter, and Temple of Jade Serp Serpent coming right up, and I will see you guys there. Hey guys, the Merce here, and welcome back. Alright, so let's talk about our rotation a little bit. We're going to put Serpent Stings up. Serpent Sting, rather, up. Get our Chimera Shot on cooldown. Start using Steady, but once our Arcane down here procs, we're going to use that. Until we can't anymore. Chimera Shot again on cooldown. And when our Aim Shot procs, just use it. Right there. And again, use our Arcane Shot. Alright, so Marksmanship Hunter should really use Misdirection, especially for their opening, which is... I usually open with an Aimed and Chimera, getting a lot of burst damage in there as quickly as I can. So again, excuse the clicking, I am doing this live. Again, get the instant aim shot out there. Start multi-shotting. And if you look at my focus, because I basically have Bombardment and my my Thrill of the Hunt procs, I have a lot of multi-shots I could use, which is very, very good. So again, get Misdirection up on the tank. Get our aim shot out there. Followed by Arcane. Fill with Steady. And that's basically it. It's very simple rotation, very fun. So one thing I do want to talk about is Blink Strike. And Blink Strike is useful for two, two occasions mainly. And the two occasions is basically PvP. Getting, especially BM Hunters, I can really see BM Hunters using this over any other hunter. Basically, PvP, you can get your pet on the target faster than if you didn't have it, obviously. And, and uh, Blink Strike has caused your pet to instantly teleport behind an enemy, target up to 40 yards away, and, and your pet will inflict 600% normal damage. Very, very good. And I could just see it being very useful in PvP. You know, you get a rogue, Bam! Get your get your pet on it. Get a kill commando. Very very useful. And uh, another reason, another use for it, shall we say, is if your pet is attacking something else and you need, like, if there's two mobs, and I want my pet on the mob I'm attacking, but he's just not there. You can either create a macro, or you can basically just use blink strike. Very very simple. One button. But Marksman is a very, very, very simple rotation. It's very fun, it's very powerful, it's very bursty. It's just, it's awesome. So again, keeping my Chimera on cooldown. And for some reason my pet is, is not attacking. And actually, you have to be careful because the reason my pet was not attacking is because I called him back to follow me from attacking the boss. And pets, in general, are a lot smarter in Pandaria. So, it, you know, the, the uh, pet basically says, okay, well, you called me back. I'm not going to attack until you tell me to attack again. So, yeah, just a thing to keep in mind. Alright, so I'm going to open with my aim shot here. Followed by Chimera with a steady to get some focus back. Get the Serpent Sting up on the target. Kill shot. And that's basically a very, very simple. Okay, I got my instant aim shot ready. We'll use it right here. There we go, 53,000. Gonna get my surface thing up, and again, just keep my priorities on cooldown. So, I for one like point format, so I will tell you the rotation in point format. So, number one. Keep Chimera on cooldown. Key number two, keep Serpent Sting up. Number three, fill with Steady. Number four, use Aim Shot when the target is above... Okay, use my Deterrence there just to get rid of some damage. Number four is basically keep all your procs off. Like as soon as you get, like right here I have my Aim Shot procs. Use them as quickly as you can. 
and use your instant aim. It's very, very simple. And if you don't know how to play a class Compandaria, the best thing you can do is just go into the What's Changed tab right here and the core abilities, and that will tell you rotation, basically. So very, very useful. So I just pop my rapid fire. And getting my Chimera shot up there again. Very, very easy. Very fun. This is an amazingly fun class. If you guys have a hunter and you're kind of saying, Oh, what spec should I go come Pandaria? Marksman is amazing and is very, very simple. If you think of even starting a hunter, Marks is a very, very fun spec. And I highly, highly recommend it. My main hunter is Marksman and Beastmaster. So, just like Shadow Word Death in my Shadow Priest video, Kill Command, you do not need Glyph to have two chances at it anymore. You can basically just, uh, as soon as you fire one off, if it doesn't kill it, it will reset. So very, very useful. Alright, going to like Mach 10 here because I have my aspect up. Let's check if our, okay, our pet is in ferocity. I just love that. I think that's the coolest thing they're doing to hunters. And another difference is Trap Launcher is a toggle ability now. So to give you guys an example, without Trap Launcher on, if I do Shift 1, which is my freezing trap, I do Shift 1, it automatically is down in front of me with Trap Launcher on. If I do Shift 3, which is my snake trap, it asks me where I want to place it. So very, very cool. Very awesome. Like It makes trapping so much easier. All right, and we're gonna get ready to open up with a lot of burst on the target we have marked here. Just waiting for the two other party members to get back. What else has changed? Camouflage, camouflage has changed. You blend into your surroundings, causing you and your pet to be untargetable by range attacks. Also reduces the range at which enemy creatures can detect you and provides stealth while stationary. So, stealth while stationary. However, if you want to, you can get a glyph right here. Your camouflage ability now provides stealth even while moving, but your movement speed while camouflage, it, while it's active, is reduced by 50%. So, you know, it's, uh, it's really preference, but you can actually activate camouflage while in combat now. So again, getting misdirection up on the tank. We don't want to do all that burst and have the, uh, the target, you know, come running at us. Okay, opening with Aimed and Chimera. You there, in the Doing a lot of damage. Getting our Blink Strike up there to get a lot of pet damage out there. Okay, and that's one down. Opening up again on this one. Using our arcane shot procs for single target, multi shot for AoE. And there we go. Very, very easy. It is just such a fun class. And again, just using up our procs here. Chimera's about to come off. Open, uh, use Chimera, keep it off cooldown. Always keep this off cooldown, always. So again, I think we have a Fire Mage, if I'm not mistaken, so I'm, I'm mainly focusing on single target. Oh, rather Arcane Mage, for sake. So I will actually help with... And right there, with Trap Launcher on, it's so easy to get your traps up now. I'll actually assist with the AoE here. Alright, now I have my... Through of the hunt proc, so I'm using my multi shots for AoE. See how they pour from every litter of these sacred scrolls. Alright, I know I will not have enough energy after the sorry, focus after the aim shot to use my Chimera shot, so I went right into my proc arcane shots. 
right, and there we go. Getting our traps out there just helped the AOE. Blink strike. Also a good move while you're moving. If you need to move, you can get a blink strike out there for extra damage to maintain your DPS. So again, gonna open with our aim shot and smear shot right there, dropping it quite a bit. And also, let's not forget we're also applying piercing shots, which is a bleed. Okay, switching to a new target, get your Serpent Sting up. Alright, perfect. You must destroy the source of the corruption. Quickly, before our cherished history is erased. 51,000 just killing that thing. Alrighty, AoE, so I'm gonna get my snake trap. And oh fire trap. I if hope I they work. Mistaken, I hope they register. It that the tale of Zhao Sunseeker has come to life before us. Okay, and just to, According to the legend, add to the AOE, I'm going to be opening with a blink strike to get my, like sorry, rather a aim shot, the and then Shimera, and, and then filling with steady to get all the multi shot focus back, and just spamming that. Villages burned, and families wandered endlessly to seek refuge from the flames. Alright, aim no shot. Chimera. Now I'm gonna get a lot of focus back. And then use an ulti shot. Okay. Again, using my proc multi shot there. Alright, using my instant aim shot. Getting my pet immediately back in the battle with Blink Strike, getting him right in the bomb here. And if you guys want to take a quick look at my glyphs, actually I should even be getting this at all. Alright, well, I just want to point out this one. This is why I'm not actually spamming Hunter's Mark. My Chimera shot, Arcane shot, Kill Command, Explosion shot automatically apply the Hunter's Mark. Have dulled my senses, mirages, all of you. Zao has become corrupted too. All right, using my rapid fire for some haste right here. Okay, getting a nice crit off there. Using my my blink strike anytime it's up. Also keep that on cooldown because once you 100% know how to play this class, you won't actually have that much focus regeneration problem. Okay, use my blink strike again, 24,000 crit. And as you can see, the boss is just getting destroyed. Zhao was a true champion of our people. How sad it is to see his story tainted by the Shah. I am relieved to see justice served to his memory. You have but yeah, and this is also a good PvP class, and the reason being is Chimera shot slows him, uh, instant proc aim shots. You know, it's just such a fun class. I really do enjoy this, and I really, really do highly recommend this class for anyone. Maybe if you're thinking of starting a hunter, try Marksman. It's a little bit less, it's a bit, it's the easiest spec between three in my opinion it's it's very straightforward very simple it lets you learn the ropes of hunters and then you can move into survival and beastmaster but i mean they're all relatively simple especially with this core abilities this tells you your rotation like basically even though when i say the rotation this is basically what i'm following and then i move into my talent choices and then that's um basically like when you pick talents you just fill with your talents also Alright, so I'm getting my Serpent Sting up, and I will be using my Multi-Shot when I can. There we 
go. Needs an aim shot, get that out there. Okay, just keep using my multi shot that she keeps rocking, which is very, very good. Okay, I noticed my service things are about to fall off, so I'm gonna try and sneak a Chimera in there. Not enough time, but hey, we got him down, that's the important part. Okay, and I just don't have enough energy for my aim shot opener, so I'm just going, my focus rather. So I'm just going to use my procs, right there, my multi-shot procs. Just going to keep using that as much as I can, get all this AoE damage out there. Alright. Just a, a lot of damage, this class can pump out so much damage. And also, when, if you need to move, try to move during procs. So like my arcane throw the hunt procs, you can try to move uh, during them, basically. Alright, so again, we're going to open up with our aim shot. We have full focus. There we go. Again, just trying to get the big guy down quick, so I use my through the hunt procs for my arcane shot, getting my instant aimed out there, going right back to my arcanes, filling with steady shot, and getting him down with kill shot. All right. Your forces are weak. So again, getting misdirection up on the tank, we don't want to make their job any harder than it already is. Waiting for the tank to pull. <laughs> Alright, using my rapid fire, ooh, plus a time warp, this will be good. Okay, using my arcane procs right there, getting rid of the instant aim shot. Chimera, get that out there. We'll get our blind strike up. Again, get rid of the arcane procs. Instant aimed. Chimera. Oh, dodge that. Again with the arcane. Okay, I'm going to use readiness, which resets the cooldown on all hunter abilities with a base cooldown less than five minutes and use my rapid fire right after that for more haste and more damage. Gonna get my blink strike up there, right there, 11,000. Keep my chimera up, and use my arcane procs. Very, very easy, especially with spell, like the spell flashes they've added in the uh, a few patches ago. You know, it really just helps you keep an eye on what to use and when things are ready. Move out of this. My Chimera shot's about to come off cooldown, so during that global I can try and move along with the kill shot. I can move if I'm standing in something because you don't want to waste time. Also, if you're moving, you could use Arcane shot like this. Just like that. Again, open up with Ch Chimera, get the kill command out there. And there we go. Very, very, very fun class, man. Very fun. Okay, and again, get our misdirection up, because Mark's Hunters do a whole lot of DPS. Opening up with my aimed in Chimera. Okay, my Chimera's about to come off cooldown. I'm going to use that, and then immediately a Blink Strike right after. And again, use Steady. I'm going to move right here. I, I basically don't want the purple stuff coming anywhere close to me. Okay, my instant aimed. And my arcane. Followed by kill shot. Another kill shot to finish that one off. Okay, 
Okay, and just finishing off the last one. Three instant arcane shots followed by kill command. Alright, there we go. Alright. And after this, stay tuned for the other two hunter specs. open up our usual way, aim with Chimera. I'm not saying it's the best way, but it's just the way I open up. I, I really like doing that. Getting rid of the arcane procs. And again, it's a whole lot of damage. Okay, we're going to be stacking on the tank. And remember guys, hunters don't have a minimum range requirement anymore. So we can, even if they're in our face, we can just keep spamming our our spells, you know. So keep that in mind also. So I'm actually going down pretty quick here. So I'm going to actually use Deterrence and even throw in a Fane right here. Alright, there we go. Help the Priest. We go right back into it, open with Rapid Fire. Stick close to the tank. Use our AoE. Not 100% sure if I need to hit five when you know what I'm doing. Alright, now we're gonna help out our team. Alright, gonna get that guy off the hunter now. Hit it with a name shot. Alright, there we go. And again, just DPS down. And for heals out there, you really gotta dispel those uh, debuffs that we get, which our healer's in right now. Okay, again, get back on the tank. Get our traps out there. And hope the tank doesn't move like that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna lay down a frost trap. Right. Not actually, okay, so it will slow them down. So that's good to know. Okay, got our proc multi shots out there. Very, very useful. Especially in AoE situations. Okay, get the help the healer out here. Alright, gonna use my readiness and rapid fire right after. Okay, trying to pump all the damage we can. Got our blink strike in there, 22,000. Chimera shot, 32,000. Okay, aim shot again. Just doing our best to nuke everybody. Wait for the tank to stop and get my traps out there. Spam multi shot, get everyone's shadow down as quickly as I can. And just try to be a really good team player because, especially dungeons, it's not all about, you know, it's not, no one can really solo these things. I mean, sure, some people can, but the core, uh, the core of dungeons is teamwork so you know always try to assist other players and do what you can to help if you're a dps and you see the healer going down as a you know if you're a marks hunter and you see the healer going down or the healer has somebody on it distracting shot get a wervin sting up get a trap up you know we could always do things to help and just trying to nuke it as quickly as we can 
keeping all of our abilities on cooldown. Alright, we're gonna move again into the bubble this time. Lay down by the priest. Gonna get our multi shots rolling now. And for focus, just use steady. Alright, gonna throw an aim shot over there to finish that. 42, 45,000. <laughs> that was a pretty sweet shot. Alright, we're gonna try to finish it here, guys. Get your kill command rolling now. Get okay, your steady, your chimeras up, serpent sting, keep your procs rolling, kill shot, and get your instant aimed, your chimera and your arcane again, blink strike, blink strike to finish it with a 22,000 crit, not too bad guys, not too bad. Alright, well that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is a Marksmanship Hunter in Temple of the Jade Serp, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun running it. If you like this video, check out my other videos. I'm doing a whole series on Temple of the Jade Serpent with all the classes in this exact dungeon, just so they're comparable. And uh, happy hunting until next time, guys. If you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, and comment. It would greatly help me. Thank you very much, and happy hunting, guys.